Hey ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Papa Bail, and welcome to the channel. So I was presented with a predicament and this is how I solved it. Um, I wanted to do north-south uh, array of magnets on the outside. So we have six north, six south, alternating uh, magnets on the outside. And so I was thinking like, how am I gonna get my pulse motor to run this? So, there was a suggestion made to me on my channel that I put one magnet in the center and use a stick to adjust the RPMs. Well, I just, I timed it with the six same magnets on the outside. So, there's six of the same on the inside but you know there was 12 on the outside and it moved with 12 now it's six on the inside and it moves everything with six hits instead of 12 so there are six magnets positioned under the read switch at timed intervals with the outer magnets of the same polarity and then uh, we have uh, we have three coils in the drive circuit now and we got the bifiler coil right here with a with a 13 uh, inch aluminum core see what we're trying not to do is have a lot of magnetic flux I know it generates power and all that but that's that's not what we're we're just looking for a smooth ride here so just enough kick to get it going in a direction so an aluminum core will do the trick it will close everything up it'll finish everything off um, the way I'm doing it is the last piece you add to the coil. It's not the first thing you do. It's the last thing you do. And that the problem I have is that it's, this is the only size core that I have that fits any of my uh, bobbins. So, and the circuits go like this. You got a 120 degree, 34 gauge circuit, which has 5,000 turns in each coil. They're all clockwise. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know. And I marked the front and the back. The only thing I haven't checked is the polarity, but I'm pretty sure since they were wound the same way and they all have the same front and the same back that they're going to be the same polarity, but that, who knows, right? <laughs> so I gotta test that. But I think I can really test that just by using the motor itself. I, I don't need any like tricks or anything, I can just tell, you know, is it better or worse when you add this coil? Usually if it's counterproductive, it's gonna be worse. And you can tell right away. There's no need to uh, do anything else. Um, and I'm hoping with the alternating magnets that we get some different readings. Um, I'm not, I don't know what we'll get, but it's fun to find out. So we got the, like I'm saying, I'm sorry, I apologize for straying off like that. We got the 120s. We got three of them, so it's a three-phase generator. And we got the 120 drive circuit. It used to be one, one drive coil and then 11 generator coils. But I figured like if we just do it in a phase and do it 120, um, that it would work out. 
Uh, we could even put switches in between each phase. So all phases would be running at the same time, but they wouldn't be congruent or working together until you threw the switch. You get what I'm saying? I'm not sure if that's a thing, but I feel, I feel like I could do that if I wanted to. Like, it might be counterproductive in the long run to have that at all, but just to be in more control of what was going on, I might do that. Because <clears throat> the last circuit, last 120 degree coil circuit is going to be these, 14 gauge. I'm trying to generate, you know, amps, and then I'm trying to see what each circuit can generate. I'm trying to see what they generate all together. I'm trying to see series circuit, I'm trying to see if a parallel circuit might be useful. Because I don't, I think I'm, I'm meaning like, micro amps like mini amps milliamps whatever kind of small ass amps we're talking here to make this thing work <sighs> but it, apparently i'm getting you know minus 0 0.01 amps of any kind But I'm dying to see what that 14 gauge uh, circuit will provide if I wash it all through a bridge rectifier and then send it through a capacitor back to the to the to the drive circuit. So when power supply says that hopefully this thing will be moving uh, and what I what I think there should might thank you thank you you know that's that's a sign there you go it's off now um, but what I was thinking Oh man. If we get the 14, what I want to know is, I mean, I'm just looking at this core right here. It is freaking long. Maybe I could saw it down. Maybe I can't. I don't know. But I'm thinking maybe I saw it in half. Saw an inch off and then saw it in half. And get two six inch cores out of it. So that works, and that'll get going really fast. And it's on a little wheel, so I can just, if it needs to be turned a little bit, I can turn it. The light has blown out though, so I don't know how much longer this one's gonna last. Alright, so I'm going to get to hooking up these uh, coil circuits and making the last two 14 gauge. That's awesome. That is literally awesome. The jerry rigged makeshift. So you get the, the alternating magnets to spin set set up this way. 
So that's awesome. That, and I don't have to sit here and hold it. You know, and <laughs> if I need to move it a little bit, I can. Oh, that's going to be so cool. So we got two 120s here. We got a 34, and the next one is a 32. And then a 14 gauge. And I'm thinking that they're all going to be their own circuit. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about how I'm going to bring them all together, or if I even need to. Um, yeah, it's kind of perplexing now. Because you can put all the, the dump ends, the negative ends the uh, finish ends if you say you start to the right but let's say you start to the left no we're starting to the right all right so we go one two three that's what I'm wondering. Should we go one, two, three, and then connect it to a one, two, three, connect it to a one, two, three, like in a parallel circuit of series circuits, if that's a thing. Because they all got to be bridge rectified. And I'm wondering how I'm going to do that. Because if you, you tie each circuit, because I want to make the 120 circuit, okay? <clears throat> then I want to have that go. to the bridge rectifier. And make the next 120 and see we have three three AC nodes on the bridge rectifier we got three <clears throat> AC generator circuits three AC circuits three AC nodes makes sense to me right but now I know it's not that simple. So what I'm thinking is the one end, uh, yeah. See the capacitor, you throw that in there. That gives us another two or three hookups. So, what another way I see it as being is we give each their own one of these, and then you use two ACs, and you send the DC to the next uh, one of these. And this time you're only going to need one because you're going to hook the DC end of all three of the bridge rectifiers to the AC one of these and you're going to hook the DC probably to the capacitor and then the capacitor is going to be hooked to the, the positive end of your drive circuit. <clears throat> Uh, 
Now I know there's other circuitry that I could be using that would probably be useful, but I don't know how to use it. I don't know, because you gotta use layman's terms. Can't go with like GLB 409250. I don't know what that means, okay? And, I, and I'm really, really, really lazy. I mean, look, I'm not gonna look that shit up. Um, now if you are kind enough to drop me a comment, and you leave like that in a comment, I will definitely, uh, I, I usually, unless it's like straight up, like perpetual motion stuff, I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. Whoever like made, like put even the, the, the term forever in the dictionary is a religious fanatic. You know? That's, it's BS, man. It's straight up. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever, man. Even the pr most primal nature forces have a spark to them. It, something started that. You know? And it's going to end. Yeah. It all exists within the paradigm, man. Everything you can do, it's already been done. And it already exists within the paradigm. Me, I'm just trying to do whatever I can without actually, you know, I, I appreciate YouTube comment learning. I've learned a lot from YouTube comments. And then some of this stuff is my own desires. I mean, the size, the weight, the big magnets, that's all me. You know, nobody really has an opinion on the size of magnets you're supposed to use, but I found using bigger magnets and whatever size coil uh, produces better results. And what I'm saying is the power. They don't really have to be that big. See, these aren't that, that big. They're just, they're really powerful. That's what I mean. Um, yeah. Torn this thing open a hundred times. I like this. This is righteous. See, this is four volts. This is eight. See, it's got the pickup of six. But once it gets going, man, that's good, good enough. I'm gonna crank it all the way up real fast. There's our light. That was 25 volts for a little while. I don't want to like really do that for too long. All right. Sounds good to me, man. Peace out. Have a good night. Please subscribe. Bye now.